Hey Saggy, welcome to your weekly reading for June. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you guys for your love and your support. Um, we're going to see what's going on for you guys for this next week or so. See what you guys need to look out for, what to be aware of, what the vibes are like. Any messages from spirit, anything that you may need to look out for or keep in mind. If this reading helps or resonates, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And yeah, Sag, let's see what's going on for you guys for the next week, the next seven days. Little weekly kind of overview. We have the snake. We also have the phoenix and the oyster. Okay, y'all, there we go. There we go. That was very fast. That was very quick. Spirit is here. Oh, this is an interesting vibe. This is a very interesting vibe. Yeah, so we do have spirit energy with the phoenix. This is spirit. There's a lot of divine energy that is supporting you at this time. As always, but like especially during this next week, you might be really feeling the shift. Especially as we're in Gemini season and depending on where you have Sagittarius in your chart, what placements you might have, what planets you might have in Saggy, you're going to be feeling some pretty interesting shifts um, this next week, especially um, during this time as we're in Gemini season. So with the first card out, we have the snake. And this card, it does talk about cycles, how you may have the tendency to fall into certain patterns, certain beliefs, certain experiences, have habits, mindsets, uh, situations with people like there, you might be noticing that there's like a bit of a pattern or like you're becoming aware of certain patterns in your life. And this is kind of a decision or kind of a point in your life where you are either repeating a cycle, you're choosing to repeat a cycle or you're choosing to change. It's like you either choose to stay the same or you choose to be different or do different. And so I'm seeing you guys are starting to open up to new possibilities or new paths new directions you know you, you've gotten really used to a certain way or you've gotten really comfortable with like a certain approach towards something you've gotten used to like a path like i just get the image of like you know like if you walk on grass if you you keep walking on this one path it's going to wear out the grass right there's going to be just like nothing just like a dirt path right and so you get used to walking down that dirt path and that's just like instinctively you just continue to keep taking that path because that's the path that you normally go down that's the path that you are used to taking and then you are now kind of like maybe i should change that maybe i should kind of branch off maybe i should walk down this different path or start a new path or completely like switch lanes like you get me like that's kind of this vibe with the snake where it is about recognizing your potential and recognizing in what areas you can change because you do have the power to change your life. You do have the power to do things differently. And that's something that you have been kind of leaning towards these last couple of weeks, these last few days. And also, again, over these next few weeks, you're going to be kind of like tiptoeing um, and seeing like other possibilities or other paths that you could take or other ways to approach um things in life and even yourself and even your own stuff going on internally like it's just it's a very transformative time for you saggy and there might be part of you that is trying to like slow down the process or i don't know what the phoenix to the the phoenix is like all open and like let's go and like spreading the 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 wings ready to fly ready to soar after death rebirth right but then we have the oyster which is kind of more like the shy like kind of wanting to stay tucked in not really wanting to leave the the, the nest the bed you wanting to stay in your comfort zone it's like there's part of you that wants to just stay with the normal stay with the usual stay with what you're what you know and then there's part of you that desperately is like wanting to break free from that old way those old beliefs those old habits restrictions environments jobs relationships habits you know part of you is like nope this is comfortable and this is what i know this is like who i am whether it's good or bad you're like this is just what i've known all my life so it's like you know devil i know versus devil i don't but then there's also part of you that's like but like i kind of want to explore i kind of want to see what's out there i kind of want to expand i kind of you know so like there's this back and forth i'm kind of seeing that 
kind of seeing that a little bit i'm also seeing with the phoenix to the oysters like this transformation that is taking place it is taking place within you like it is about something going on deep below the surface um energetically speaking emotionally and mentally speaking that many people may not know you're going through or it's like you're keeping it kind of to yourself or there's like you're not sharing it or there's like you're not being vulnerable like you're keeping it very under wraps like these changes or these feelings or and the oyster is an element of water so this is ruling even like your emotions your emotions could be changing about something you might be trying to protect how you feel or it's just like you're trying to protect yourself from getting hurt or something like that okay um but the oyster is like it is a message saying like it's time to open up it's time to be open-minded or just like be open to receive or keep an open mind like there's something about needing to be open or remaining open um kind of like how the phoenix wings are like wide open like they're like flying and shit you know so it's about um that you guys it's really about that and then at the bottom of the deck we have the cobra so notice the snake energy is really popping through for you guys the cobra which does talk about personal lessons um in even relationships as well or certain situations that are here to help teach you and help you grow and then underneath that we have the eagle and that always talks about like divine intervention it talks about like karmic cycles it does talk about clearing old cycles and stepping into new cycles creating new shifts new paths newness like you're completely like creating a new combination you've gotten so used to this old combination and that's just like that's what you're used to it's been ingrained it's just been a pattern for years your whole life months but like now it's like you're discovering that there's a new combination or there's a new pattern that you could try and you're kind of like you're kind of tempted to see like where does this go or what might this lead towards or you know you're doing things slightly different and it's kind of you're starting to awaken to that more this week and it's really powerful um, we also have the crow underneath that, which is about your intuition and basically seeing things before they happen or knowing about things before it happens or like just over this next week, you're going to be feeling things. I think like even these changes that are occurring or even these shifts that are happening or even like things that might happen during this week or the next couple of weeks, it's like you kind of will have like a like a warning from your intuition or like you know a heads up i feel like your intuition will give you a heads up before these cycles or lessons or experiences or people or scenarios before it happens or before it pops up where it's like you got a choice you want to repeat the past you want to start uh, something new like you know i think you're gonna get like some sort of like recognition not recognition what the hell what am i saying um oh my god where did the word go like literally just vanished from my brain you know like a warning a heads up basically i i yeah i don't know what i was gonna say it literally just got wiped from my brain but basically that basically that is what i was gonna say so let's get into the tarot let's get the specifics of what you may be dealing with this week what might pop up what to look out for you know just the vibes for this next week or so what is going on for my beautiful sagittarians sagittarius summon i think this for the next seven days show me clearly please spirit any messages for saggy for the next week or so what do my sagittarians need to know look out for or be aware of okay we have the star reversed along with the tower Whew, that's some pretty intense stuff i gotta be real we have aquarius energy as well as scorpio energy out here we do also have the wheel of fortune taking a peek at the bottom of the deck i will pull more cards but i kind of want to just discuss this for a second here so with the star in the reverse and this deck especially like there's like half hidden truths or like you're not there's something that's like half lit up or something that you're not fully aware of you're not fully seeing or like there's something that you're not seeing 100 percent clearly and it's regarding some sort of change that's happening in your life could be changes to your home could be changes to your work could be changes to some sort of foundation um and underneath that ten of pentacles this is at the bottom of the deck just extra cards i'm gonna pull more we have the four of swords so it's like there's a lot for you to process there's a lot for you to 
take a step back from, take a break from, um, and kind of needing to really surrender to the things that are outside of your control. You might be worried about like family or family might be worried about you, or maybe you're concerned about like your home or where you live or things like that. Maybe thinking a lot about your future, but anyway, so with the star in the reverse with the tower, this is almost like there's like lack of hope or you're feeling a bit hopeless about something or you're feeling more like pessimistic about some of these changes that are happening or these shifts that are happening or there's discomfort here there definitely is some discomfort a little bit awkward energy um and part of you for some reason you're not feeling the most optimistic about these changes or you're realizing like the changes that are needed you're like ah there's a lot that has to change and i don't even know where to begin or how am I going to make this work? Or like you're just you're feeling really overwhelmed with all the shifts that are taking place or about to. And like there's just it's kind of like you almost just want to go back to the old ways because that's what's normal. That's what you're comfortable with. That's what's easy. But just because it's easy doesn't mean that it's good, you know. But so that's kind of what I'm feeling so far. It's like you're not you're kind of like feeling like hopeless about these changes or you just don't feel like the most optimistic about these changes kind of like you almost are dreading what has to be done um and it's like part of you just wants to close back up right going back to that uh, that uh oyster it's like part of you just wants to close back up and go back into your shell and um put on the blindfold and just pretend like la 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 la, la i didn't see any of that like no like put <laughs> but like you can't but that's like what you wish you could do all right, what else can you tell Saggy? Okay, King of Pentacles out here. Any other messages for Saggy for the next week or so? Thank you so much. We have the Page of Wands. Okay, so there's see, I see like there's a positive shift or there's a shift in your energy or like there could be someone around you that you're dealing with that's helping you kind of get out of this funk. We have the Empress at the bottom, Two of Cups reversed with the Four of Pentacles and the Fool. I see you kind of holding back from a relationship that has the potential to grow. Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, lots of Queen energy as well. But yeah, there's like a lot of fear surrounding a, a specific connection or a relationship it doesn't have to be romantic although it could be dealing with a taurus we also have libra we also have aries and aquarius coming out twice all right so let's let's break this down a little bit more so some of you is like you're concerned about your money or your finances or maybe a job or just like where you're getting your stability from or where you should be getting your stability from you feel like it's not enough or you're like there's something that's not up to par or like up to what you wanted to be so with the king of pentacles to the tower that is definitely bringing a change to your physical reality that's definitely bringing a change to the material world and remember that at the bottom of the deck when the star and the tower came out we had that wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles and also the four of swords so it's like there's changes happening around you or in your foundations in your home life or in your work but some of it's out most of it's out of your control and if you can and kind of just step back and just kind of breathe a little bit and just remain grounded as well king of pentacles he's very grounded he's very just like rooted in himself and he's very confident so it's like there's a need for you to try your best to remain confident even through the uncertainty right there is uncertainty at the moment or you're not quite sure where things are headed where things are going you're really just kind of needing to trust the process um and trying your best to stay optimistic page of wands is normally a very optimistic energy this is someone who's very uplifting very excited very out going very driven very motivated this is an energy like of not giving up not quitting this is like that natural curiosity that natural spark that interest to like explore and always seeing like the brighter side of things so it's kind of like that's how you're i see you shifting into that energy like at the beginning of the week or this you know the next week or so at the beginning maybe as you're listening to this right now or maybe recent past whenever you come across this reading um you know you might be in more of like a pessimistic mode or feeling a little bit uncertain a little bit nervous a little bit anxious uh hopeless about these changes but then throughout as the week progresses i see you getting more stable more grounded and more optimistic and more like in your strength in your power and just feeling more happier about these changes that are happening taking place so that's a nice like kind of progression i'm seeing for you this week where it's just like you're kind of like oh i don't know if i could do this maybe i just want to stay to stay back to go back to my old ways but like i see that you just are needing to surrender to it ground yourself be flexible with these changes and just like allow whatever is meant to be will be okay 
Um, King of Pentacles to that Page of Wands. Lots of creative ideas. This would be a great time for you to go create, for you to start new projects, to stay busy, to stay focused on your passions. This would be a really good time. I see you being very productive this week and getting a lot of things done and feeling really proud of yourself. Just feeling really accomplished at what you've gotten done, crossing a lot of things off like to-do lists. It just I feel like you're going to be very productive this week and it's going to be awesome. So I see lots of growth in that as well. Um, and again, even with the page of wands to the tower, it's like sudden ideas, inspiration that's just hitting you, that's coming out of nowhere. Maybe if you've been dealing with creatives block, that's another message just coming through with the star reverse to the page of wands. If you've been dealing with creatives block or you've been struggling to like, you've been feeling funky or something's just been feeling off and you've, it's been limiting you from creating or releasing or expressing yourself i see you finding some sort of solution to that or i see like in this next week or so you kind of are breaking through whatever that blockage was so that's awesome as well i like that at the bottom of the deck we have the empress so this is really signifying your growth here um i was just about to call you capricorn <laughs> maybe you got capricorn placements but there's definitely growth that you are experiencing um this next week so something that you've been investing and putting your time your energy your consistency into it really is paying off but here's the thing i'm like all right um so the empress and then the two of cups in the reverse there's some sort of relationship now that's being brought up in this relation in this reading i can't even speak there's a relationship being brought up in this reading here it could be with an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn or water sign it doesn't matter dude we have like all the elements out here so it doesn't really matter but so there is a connection you might not be seeing eye to eye 100 percent, or there could be like some sort of distance or emotional distance or notice how in the two of cups reverse they have their backs against one another like they're not looking at each other there's something that's getting in the way from this relationship that's growing there's something that's preventing a connection from like expanding or growing i don't know if it's relating to fears i don't know if it's relating to someone being closed off or emotionally unavailable but there's a, there's something that's getting in the way of a relationship from progressing it's something that see with the four pentacles to the fool there's something that's preventing somebody from taking a risk or taking a leap of faith or like expanding or expressing or it, like it's preventing this connection from growing there's something that's holding somebody back here in a connection could be you saggy it could be whoever you're dealing with but there's something getting in the way of like a beautiful start or a beautiful connection here that could really flourish that could really take off the ground but for whatever reason there's something that's preventing this connection from growing again could just be fears going back to the starry verse of having fears um having doubts the changes that are occurring but again even if that's the case if we're just going back to these four main cards that came out i see that being worked through so i'm wondering if this is just temporary we'll look into that i'll definitely clarify some of that so um yeah let me take a look into let's take a look into this tower and see like what what are these shifts what is this change occurring for you saggy and then i think i will look into this connection see what's getting in the way of this connection from growing okay let's take a look into the tower for saggy sun moon rising venus for the next week tell me this tower why is the tower here for sagittarius show me clearly any insight with some guidance for sagittarius in this tower energy why is the tower here for sag tell me the tower for sagittarius for this next week what is this shift what is this change that's occurring that Saggy's feeling doubtful over or like afraid of we have the hierophant reverse so yeah this is definitely going against the grain this is definitely going against tradition this is definitely going against the norm what you're typically used to even against like your usual values or things that you you had in mind or you had pictured it's like completely alternate path alternate route like that you didn't expect this is taurus energy as well i'm really picking up on like uranus vibes or like um what was going on in the stars with that i don't know there's something with the north node bringing up like random but not really random but like faded events something like that let me put some more on this tower some of you unexpectedly breaking away from some sort of contract, marriage, commitment, maybe some sort of commitment is like falling through or like you're taking a break or you're calling it quits on something. That's for some of you, not everybody, of course, but this is really bringing some sort of unexpected change. Um, okay, we do have a stack here. Page of Wands, King of Cups, Emperor, 
death reverse and the page of swords reverse so there is a bit of like a struggle when it comes to your mentality or like your your inner thoughts here struggling with like seeing the positive of a situation or like again it's kind of like that pessimistic star reverse doomsday doom and gloom expecting the worst and then again with the death card in the reverse is like resistance to change or resistance to um the the things that are leaving or the things that are falling out falling out of your life or like leaving your life or the changes is like there could be some resistance here trying to keep control um maybe you're needing to be mindful of old ways or old patterns resurfacing right with that snake and the oyster and the phoenix like that that's definitely part of it um king of cups and the page of wands so we have that page of wands showing up again again there could be some sort of like offering or opportunity or some sort of new start here let me talk, let me look into that let me look into that page of wands what do you need to know about this page of wands and then i'll look into that connection okay time this page of wands for saggy why is the page of wands here what do my sagittarians need to know about this page of wands show me clearly Page of Wands for Sagittarius, please. Show me clearly what this is about. We have the moon. So this hasn't been revealed to you just yet. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this card just slipped away. This hasn't been revealed to you yet. This might be around the new moon in Gemini, which um, by the time this reading is up, I'm sure we'll already have had the new moon in Gemini. <laughs> so maybe around the new moon in Gemini. But yeah, I literally don't... What, what is the moon in right now? I think the moon's in Taurus. So that's like... Okay, yeah, this reading will be up later. This reading will be up um, like next week. So I'm like ahead of my schedule. Woo! Uh, so yeah, this this offer... Now it actually might be revealed. By the time this reading is up, this offer or this new beginning or this new... It, like this invitation probably is revealed... Okay, I'm going to say like Friday, Saturday, Sunday maybe around then but this reading will i think will be up on like tuesday maybe or wednesday i'm not sure i don't know exactly when this will be up but this will be this reading will be up like early next week so i'm wondering if this offer came to you around the weekend like the last weekend that just passed you know if we're going off like you listen to this reading this next week or so you could listen to this reading literally six months from now and it still could resonate just not the exact dates right but anyways it could be some sort of offer that you don't prepare you're not quite seeing but you intuitively had a suspicion or you had a gut feeling about something right with that crow anticipating some sort of big change some sort of big shift let me get a little bit more info on this page of wands for sag princess swords reverse so something feels delayed something feels delayed or something felt like it should have come to you sooner but it didn't for some reason you might be impatient seven of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck there's part of you that's like impatient about this or maybe it's a lot slower or something about it being inconsistent or in and out again there's like an unpredictable kind of vibe like it's very unpredictable this offer that's coming in but like can we get info of like what this offer is two of pentacles in the reverse so there's indecision here there's indecision on what you want to king of wands literally and my deck is not in the my deck is not upside down king of wands reverse and the two of pentacles in the reverse like there's indecision and feeling frustrated about this um definitely someone's out of balance some somebody here is like out of a balance out of alignment feeling whack feeling pessimistic kind of going back to that star reverse and the tower just like kind of struggling with like being open or like again it's like an energy of being kind of closed off or reserved or like holding back holding back from like it's holding back from like this new start right going back to the empress and the fool there's like something you're holding back from even if we take the two of cups if you're not dealing with a relationship but like we just take these three cards it's like you're holding back from taking some sort of new risk or new beginning okay can we get a little bit of info why is saggy holding back or whoever i'm speaking to you can always swap the roles if you're feeling like you're dealing with somebody who has been holding back from you let's maybe maybe it'll give you some insight on what's going on in their brain but yeah let's let's take a look into that four pentacles why is there like this holding back kind of vibe four pentacles why is the four pentacles here like obviously it's stemming from the need to have some sort of control over the outcome um Kind of like an ego thing tell me about the four pentacles for saggy okay 
Okay, this deck is more than ready. Tell me this Four of Pentacles for Saji. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Empress. Holding back from something that has the potential to grow into something beautiful. Literally. Something that could grow into something massive. It's like, it's not happening for some reason. But why? What can you tell us about this? Ace of literally, I didn't, this is, I accidentally, but maybe was it an accident? I don't know. Ace of Wands in the reverse. I tried putting it in the deck, it came out. Someone's like afraid to light the match. Someone is like holding it for later or like, I'll keep this for later. I'll use this later. It's like, why are you reserving or saving this for the special moment or like something like that? Like there's some sort of like, yeah, what is this Four of Pentacles about? Judgment. Waiting on the timing of things. Waiting for the right timing. The right... We have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords is at the bottom. Three of Wands reverse and the Three of Swords. There might be some um, cleanup that's needed. Cleanup on aisle seven. All right, we got a little bit of cleanup to do. So maybe someone is like holding back because they have loose ends. Um, they have some sort of like clean up regarding the past or they have something they had to leave behind or someone doesn't feel like they're ready <clears throat> for this new start or it's like they're talking themselves out of this new start i do see an offer is going to be made with judgment and the king of pentacles but it's like it's about the timing of things so it, it's just a matter of time eventually this will happen it's just like i don't know if it'll be this week this next week or so because there seems to be like fears and like change of plans or change in mind someone's feeling hurt or someone's feeling triggered or afraid someone needs more time queen of swords and also the four of swords like and the chariot reverse dude like i'm seeing yeah and then the two of wands so there's like someone like hung up on the choice on making some sort of decision or taking some sort of action someone is hung up and it, they're trying to figure out what to do here and trying to get clarity they may be more cold or more distant or more like mia more um serious not so emotionally that's that that's the oyster energy that's the oyster energy like okay going back to the literally the beginning of the reading it's like here's this cycle here's this repetition staying in the old ways that dirt path that's what you're used to that's what you're normally going to but then you're like you know what maybe i should consider going down that path or this path or i'm gonna try and go this way i'm gonna try and approach it that way and yeah fuck yeah okay phoenix we're we're burning old ways we're rewriting our future we're stepping into this new alignment right and then all of a sudden it's like it's going all good it's going great it's going great and then all of a sudden it's like mm, I'm, I'm going back i'm closing up uh, this is too much change this is too much it's overwhelming it's intimidating this i, uh, I just need to like close up for a little bit pause kind of revert to old ways a little bit like that's the vibe for this week so sad um it's, it feels like it's a bit of a hiccup or it's just like it's a whole like learning curve that's happening here so you might be dealing with that over this next week be kind or patient to yourself it does feel like this will be temporary you'll get out of it but just be kind and patient with yourself and just like when you're ready then you'll take the leap. I do see you'll eventually take this leap or eventually you'll make up your mind or make up a decision, which you had a lot of twos in this reading. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it'll be this week though. <laughs> you got your free will though. You can make up your mind at any moment. But yeah, I just kind of see like there's this like reverting to old ways or old patterns or just like kind of getting stuck in like a loop. There's a bit of a loop here. But with time and with patience and growth you can get out of this cycle it's just going to take a moment and that's it's normal right it's uncomfortable there's all these changes it's expected to happen so just be kind to yourself saggy but you'll get out of this just gotta ride the waves again this is just a weekly reading so <laughs> come back next week and maybe the vibes will be different all right but until then i hope this was helpful i hope that this was insightful let me know if it was leave a like comment and subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info's in the description box down below and yes yeah, i'm gonna let you guys go okay take it easy and i'll talk to you in the next one bye